Hello everybody and thank you for stopping by my shed of radio control goodness. We have another review. Uh, this is the FQ777 FQ40 brushed quadcopter. Now first impressions it looks very much like a Spark, DJI Spark. I uh, see it's Wi-Fi, it's got Wi-Fi connectivity here and it has a uh, movable camera there, 720p I believe. Let's have a look, it's, it's, it's not going to be 1080p, I wouldn't have thought so. Um, let's unbox it and uh, we'll take a look what's inside. So here are the contents of the box. Apart from the battery, it was a 37 volt 800 milliamp single cell battery with a micro lossy connector which will plug into there the battery slots uh, slots back into here you fold this um, flat back up and push it forward to seal it that looks to me like a Wi-Fi antenna right okay now one of the good things I do like about this is all these buttons are labelled, which is uh, very, very good. Uh, speed switch here, flip, rotate button there. I might, I might give that a go. These are your trim buttons down here. Um, oh, see, so you, you have a uh, takeoff and land button. Return to home. Once again, this is just a entry level brushed quadcopter, so the return is going to come back in your general direction. In whatever in orientation it happens to be in at the time so let's say it's 80 meters away in that orientation it's probably going to come back to you in your general direction in that orientation as well headless mode or hopeless mode as I like to call it so um, without further ado I think the battery's enough charged so uh, us to get in and see if we can bind and I'll show you how to go through the um, the Wi-Fi setup right so we now have the battery first thing you need to do is to insert that into the micro lossy connector slot there insert the battery right here just make sure that the leads are the battery leads are out of the way Okay, so with most of these brushed quadcopters, this little switch there, you'll turn that on first. Then you tr turn on your transmitter. These are fake, they don't do anything, they're just there for show. But for some reason, I can't help but uh, keep them up. So, up, oh, sorry, down. Oh, there we go, it's bound already. I didn't have to cycle the throttle stick in order for it to bind right okay let's this is your mobile phone holder into which slots your mobile phone as far as I'm aware this is not 5, 5G uh, it's just normal 4, 4G capability so you, you won't need to have a special mobile phone for, for this one and it looks as though they're having difficulty in keeping the mobile phone in the slot. Okay, right, so let's go into settings. I've already downloaded the app, which is the HTI app. Or HTS app, I should, I should add. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to be using this. So we click on there, we're saving that. Hopefully the phone will give me a buzz, it is a notification, and there we go. Right, okay, so it's come out there. We'll go into the HTS UFO app. And there we go. Right, so there's a, well, that's a very funny setup there. Let's go into settings first and see what that's saying. Uh, right hand, no, no, we don't want a 720 interface. Yes, SD capacity. Um, puzzled by this there is no SD card slot there that I could see um, let's have a quick look if all fails look at the 
look at the instructions. And there's, I can't see anywhere there for a micro SD card. Let me just check. On some of the newer quads, the whole camera unit faces out, or you can pull the camera unit off, which reveals a micro SD card slot underneath. Um, nowhere here can I actually see one. There's certainly not one inside there. So, right, let's come out there and we will go into okay there's all the instructions so it must be this one that one ah uh, here we go right so there we go we can see that there's wi-fi there already let's see if we can take a photograph there we go take picture success it says so that's all very good right Let's see if Okay, so right you can also start the propellers by downwards and out and I think to calibrate it's gonna be there we go it looks as though it's calibrating there what will happen if I did it to the right hand side to the left hand side? No, there's nothing there. So both sticks down and to the right will calibrate the drain. Okay, without further ado, let's take it out for a, uh, a short flight in the garden. Uh, hopefully, I won't disturb my wife who's gardening at the moment. So, uh, oh, by the way, there's a separate sheet that details the app. Um, this is one I've used. Uh, it works straight away, as you can see. So uh, let's take it for a flight and uh, see how she handles. Here we are with the first flight of the FQ777 FQ40. We'll press record. We've already set up the calibration process. So hopefully uh, what we do, I'll put it straight into rate three. There's a little bit of a breeze coming on at the moment, which might affect it. It's only a very light quadcopter. So we'll, uh, without further ado, we'll play uh, Press the take off ram button. That's in rate three, and that is looking quite responsive. Okay, the wind is beginning to gather a little bit in speed. which is probably accounting for the drifting. Let's take some close-up pictures of the uh, tree. I don't want to get too close. All in all, very, very good. Uh, it's amazing how much this of a spark it looks like. Well, so that was a very good flight. Um, that was the first flight of the FQ777 FQ40. Doesn't it look like... <laughs> oh, doesn't it look like the spark? Very, very good. Very, very, very good indeed. Uh, also in the box, of course, you have the two propellers, not a full set, and the propeller guards which is simply just a matter of clipping on here 
so uh, I hope you I hope you like that there's a very very brief review and um, any comments please feel to, please uh, feel free to uh, let me know I'll put a link below as to where you can buy this quadcopter but uh, as always thanks for watching